Now, there's a little trick I learned from uh, Ferragamo, Salvatore. He died in 1962, I think, and I was only uh, 11 at the time. But uh, I saw an exhibition of his at uh, the V&A when I was first apprenticed at, at, at Lobs in London. And it was just beautiful. It was, I learned so much about the way he carves the last. He holds it in and the balance he has. And I've been to the museum in Florence a couple of times. And uh, while I was there, Salvatore spoke in my ear. His spirit came down and spoke to me and said, Hey, Bill, I want to show you something. And what he showed me was, he said, There's no guards looking, so feel in the shoe. And what he, what he told me is that he used to keep the stiffener really high there and then he used to dip down about two or three millimeters and then come up. And the reason is that you can keep the last nice and high there, but it's soft. It's soft and it doesn't hurt, whereas if you keep the stiffener in there, it'll really hurt. And that's a really neat thing I saw in all of Salvatore's shoes. I don't know whether they do it now, but, you know, that's what... Uh, that's what he told me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is here's your um, here's your back point. I'm just going to take that little Ferragamo dip out there. Okay, and so basically that's your pattern. And I've already done the upper and skied it. Uh, so here's the upper, and let's let's see because I've just done this fresh. Yeah, that's uh. There you are, one I did the yesterday. So this, yeah, the upper's stretched a bit and everything as I've worked it, because when you, when you finish the, uh, st not an upper, the, the stiffener, when you finish the stiffener, you pull it and fold it in half, and that's how you store it. Okay, so the other thing is, remember, when you skive a stiffener, that uh, you're, you're going to be full thickness along the feather line, and then you skive, so if that's the thickness of the leather, you skive this down like that, okay? So that you see how that's a curved skive, and you skive the hair side off and leave the suede side so that it, there it is, so that it just tucks under, see that? So when you look in, you're lasting up, you look between the lining and the upper, you see, you know, you've seen it off the last, so you, so you know exactly where, where it is. See, there's your little Ferragamo dip there. So it's tucking in there and tucking in there. And the other thing is because it's, uh, yeah, so when you skive, keep your maximum here. So that's your maximum thickness and everything else is a skive. See that? See how the maximum thickness is here. So that's full thing. And it's a feeling game. You know, Tommy Simons, he taught me, he was blind when he was teaching me, almost. And he said, it always was a feeling game. So feel it. If you can feel a lump, if you can feel a bump, it feels uneven, it's going to feel a lump and it feel uneven on the foot. Okay, the foot's just as sensitive as your hand, so learn to feel. And the other thing, because it's thin there and thick there, then that uh, means that when you pull it on, you have even more gap. So that's why I want to have even gap there and even gap there. But when you've actually done the last, it's going to be more gap because you've skived it away underneath. And so there it is. You can see how, as you last it up, it tightens here and it tightens there and comes over. And so it stretches there, it compresses there, it compresses there. And uh, that's how you get the 3D shape. So see it's stretching around there. So that pull it, it gets longer. See how the pattern was a bit short, but see how the the upper, the stiffener is fitted up, stretched. It's stretched and it's going to compress in there. See how it's going to compress and compress under there. And then that, the laminate shell is, there's, you're going to put it in here, you just drop it in, in place. You put, uh, you put your paste, there it is, it fits in there. It's in there beautifully. Open that up, put paste, use your finger, because you can feel it. You put paste in there, push that against that, put paste in there, obviously go all the way around. And when it forms the shape, you see you've got three, you've got a laminate shell. So you've got three layers, and when, they, when, they, when it dries, it forms a, a laminate shell. 
the three layers become one and it becomes very stiff and supportive. So that's how you make the pattern and then a few tips on making the stiffener as well. And there's another film where I got the whole I it sh shaping of the stiffener, putting it in and lasting up. So I hope that helps. And uh, just put any questions on the, uh, on the YouTube uh, channel and I'll answer them to my, the best of my ability. Thank you for watching.